Hi, this is Ron, my Lancelot video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a guest to your OBS live stream. Here we are at the NDI Tools page, website. Scroll down to a window that says NDI Tools, click on Download. Another pop-up will appear. Here you can put in your information, first last name, your company, country. Then when you're ready, click on I'm not a robot, and then hit Submit. Now go to your email and you'll see a link. We'll click on that link. And that will install the first part of this process. Next, we'll go ahead and download the OBS integration. Click on the download tab. Of course, you can download for Macintosh or Windows. We'll go ahead and click on Windows installer. I'm going to go ahead and just install this on my desktop. Now you get a couple of pop-up screens. Just go ahead and hit next. Wait for the process to complete. And then this window will pop up. We'll just go ahead and close that and continue with installation. Now we're installing the OBS NDI version 4.9. Then we'll go ahead and install the runtime. Now let's give it a couple of seconds to download. Now this completes the NDI installation. Let's go into OBS. Here we are in OBS. Go ahead and hit plus sign. Go to display capture. I've already added my guest here, so I'll go ahead and add existing. Click on guest. Click OK. Let's swing over to Melon, the live stream services. Perfect. Here's Melon. Let's go ahead and crop it out so we can just see the preview screen by hitting the Alt key and your left mouse button. And adjust it so it fills the entire screen. In this case, I will fill the entire screen, but later on in the video, you'll see that I won't completely use the entire screen to show the preview window in Melon. This is coming out nicely. Let's open up our other screen where we can see Melon. Click on the up arrow and make sure that our default input microphone is set to New Tech NDI Audio. And in OBS, we want to add another source by once again clicking on the plus sign and going to Audio Output Capture. I already have an existing here, so we'll go ahead and add Audio Output Capture and click OK. This brings us to an important step. Here I have a game running on another screen. Now if you look at the Audio Output Capture in OBS, the volume meter is bouncing from left to right, which means sound is being captured and is functional. The steps to accomplish this is to go in into Tools and NDS Output and selecting Main Output and OBS gets highlighted. Then click OK. Now let's go into our start bar and selecting webcam input. Go to your bottom right hand side of your screen. Click on webcam and make sure that OBS is selected and your audio has all channels and automatic levels are checked. Over to Melon we go. Once again, checking our sound. Game is playing below and it's being picked up, as you can see here, by the volume bar. So I've sent a link to my guests. In these next shots in the tutorial, I am setting up my display. Here in this shot, you'll notice that one camera has fallen, but that's okay because nothing is live yet on the street. On the top left screen in Melon, three boxes appear, two cameras are on display, one is not in the stream. And we know this because in Melon, we have two screens that say hide on stream and another one says show on stream. Now coming up on the video, my third camera is ready to display. So I click on show on stream. And we have three cameras that are live. Of course, if I had a third guest, you would see them. But here in this case, it's just me on a different camera. Here you can change your display and how you want to view your guest or just pressing these buttons below. And on the right, you can see that you can add texts or change the theme. This concludes our video on how to add guests to your OBS live stream through Melon. However, before I go, I'd like to show you something. 
Now here's a demonstration not only using OBS through Melon, but also using OBS to customize, but also using what's within OBS. And here you can see I've created my own customization with my own frame and overlays, which is pretty cool. You can see the guest frame as well as the host and different types of overlays that you can customize. So as you can see there's different types of overlays and customization that you can use within OBS not only through Melon. That concludes our video for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments and I'll see you in the next video.